thought I'd just do a quick um, kind of update about some movies I've watched recently. Um, I, I haven't watched them, them in, um, a few of them actually. Um, Santa Sangre, I felt like watching it again, but I decided not to. It's it's not for the faint-hearted. Um, the there's like, and then I recently watched All Hallows Eve. It's very there's it's kind of gory. And the beginning is kind of, I thought, like, they went too far when they made the movie. Because there's a part with, like, a pregnant woman in it, and I didn't like it. But I liked the movie. It was really scary, though, and the clown. I think I liked how, like, he was quiet, but it was, like, scary. And even though he was, like, quiet, it kind of reminded me of Nosferatu, kind of. But, like, different, because there were different characters. But, like, because Nosferatu was quiet, too, but he was also scary. And so they really worked on more on the visual and the special effects more so than the character development because you didn't really get to know the characters too much so but it made it easier for them to to die though <laughs> you know what I mean because then you you weren't as sad when the characters died because you didn't really uh, oh no did I get pen on my face I think I did oops <laughs> that was crazy doesn't it oh it's on my phone there's like a like a stain on my phone. That's what I saw. I thought it was something on my face for a second. Then I'm watching this like sci-fi movie, and I'm not usually into sci-fi movies other than like Alien. Those Alien movies are really good. They got me into sci-fi movies. It's called Fifth Passenger, and so far nothing interesting is happening. Um, they just recently there was like a explosion, so they had to leave their planet or something. They they don't live on Earth though, so I thought that was kind of weird. So because they never really did say like where they actually lived. But I know it wasn't Earth because they were like living on the spaceship center place. So, but yeah, it's called Fifth Passenger. It's on YouTube still, I hope. And so far, nothing interesting is happening and I'm waiting for something interesting to happen. So hopefully this happens soon. Then I watched, I'm watching Bol Bolero. Bolero? I think it's Bolero. It's like a 1934 movie with George Raft and Carol Lombard. Carol Lombard, she's like one of my favorite actresses. But George Raft, I guess he's okay. I, like, I don't hate the guy, but I, like, I don't love him either. Um, it's about, like, this couple, that this dancing couple duo that, um, they get into a fight and then they break up and the guy has to, George Raft's character has to find a new dance partner. And he chooses Carol Lombard's character. I forget their character names. That's why I said their, their real names. But yeah, I thought it was kind of an okay movie. It's not, it's kind of, it's, it's not like my typical movie that I would like because there's not much character development or um like backstory about the characters too much but maybe like further down the in the movie they'll like get more into it or something I don't know because I'm still like halfway through the movie so I haven't finished it yet the only movies that I finished were All Hallows Eve and Santa Sangre um yeah, I, I didn't like Santa Sangre because it was about, like, death and stuff and the kid, like, loses his mom when he's very young. And I'm like, oh, I hate that when people lose their parents at a really young age like I did. It just reminds me of when I lost my dad, you know what I mean? So it sucks. But yeah, and then I'm watching The Dark Stranger and I actually kind of like this movie. It's different. It's It has, like, art in it. The... The, the main character's mom was an artist and she died though and um and then she kind of like starts drawing like her mom was draw like used to draw and she starts like drawing a comic strip and it's called um the dark stranger hence the title of the film and it's about this like kind of creepy guy who's like kind of evil and he's like goes after like the main person in the comic strip but then I don't want to spill too much. <laughs> I just I, I just stopped myself before I spilled too much because I don't want to spoil the movie for you if you want to see it. It should be on YouTube too, hopefully still. But yeah, I like the actors in this movie. They're very believable and likable. Even when they're kind of annoying, like she is. Like the main girl is kind of annoying. And she kind of like chattels on her brother or something. I forget, but anyways. Oh, and they have that guy from Veronica Mars played Veronica Mars' dad in this film. So I thought that was kind of cool to see him in, like, a scary movie, you know? Because I usually don't see him in scary movies, and I, I never can remember what that actor's name is. And I felt bad because he was a really good actor in Veronica Mars. I used to love that show. Did you watch that show, Veronica Mars? I used to love that show. 
Because it shows, like, women can be smart and pretty, too, at the same time. Like, it doesn't have to be one or the other. We can be both. And that's pretty cool kind of message to give to people. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm starting to like... I think I like The Dark Stranger the most out of all the films that I've seen so far. Or All, all Hallows' Eve, I kind of like, too. But, it, like I said, it was kind of gory. And I'm not really much into gory movies. I'm more into, like, psychological ones. And, um... Yeah, The Dark Stranger. Yeah. I don't know the years, though, of the films. I guess it's not that important, huh? And I don't know who the director is. You'll have to look it up if you want to find out. But yeah, The Dark Stranger. I'm like, I think almost halfway done with it. Um, Man, I, oh, it's, it's gotten kind of good. I got to the, the most, like, the one of the more exciting parts. And there was, like, a few, not jump scares, but, like, there's a few moments where, like, I didn't even expect it, and then it happened, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I love that when the movies have, like, the twists in them, you know, but I hope this movie isn't too predictable, you know, where, like, you kind of know what's going to happen next, which is how it's kind of going so far, I kind of had the feeling when I started watching it what was going to happen, and I ended up being kind of right, so yeah, I hope, like, there's, like, a good twist towards the end of it or something that'll totally, like, blow my mind away or something, so, yeah, we'll find out, we'll see. But yeah, and this so far I like like I like I love all the actors in this movie. They're really good. Like I said, <clears throat> I can't really think of anything I didn't like so far. Um, <clears throat> I can't I can't really think of anything. It's kind of oh, it's the tone and the mood is kind of depressing in the beginning though, just as a warning for you. So if you're not into like kind of sad movies, then don't watch this film. Um, what else? Oh, there's like kind of like suicidal actions in the movie so if that's like a trigger for you don't watch the movie and usually I was I was surprised because that's kind of a very touchy subject to like put in a scary movie I'm not dissing it but I'm just saying like usually like suicidal stuff isn't really in a lot of movies that I've noticed you know what I mean like I think they like mention cutting in this movie and stuff and I'm just like oh my gosh this is kind of kind of dark but I guess that then it wouldn't be a horror film if it was like all rainbows and butterflies, you know, and like lollipops and gingerbread men and uh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> but I don't, I've never, I never really liked gingerbread men or gingerbread houses, but I always thought it'd be cool to make one, but I never got to make one when I was younger. So I always, maybe like in the future, I'll make one just to make one, like just to like, as cause I like creating things. So that might be kind of fun to do and then have like, give it to like a friend or something so they can eat it for me. Because I don't like gingerbread, like I said. I don't know why, I just don't like it, you know? Like, I used to know a girl who, like, didn't like chocolate. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And I thought she was kidding. But I don't think she was. So, yeah, it's interesting what people don't like and what they do like nowadays. Um, so, yeah. I'm just in my PJs. That's why I'm wearing the same shirt like I was wearing before. So, yeah. Um, the Dark Stranger. So, hopefully it gets better. So far, it's getting really good. And kind of like the most, um kind of like scariest part is happening when I stopped right there just to make this <laughs> so yeah we'll find out how it is so hope the fifth passenger movie gets better because so far it's just like really boring and it's kind of dragging on and on and I'm just like when's the action gonna happen <sighs> but it's like set in the future so that's kind of cool and I'm not usually into futuristic movies like I wasn't into like Star Wars or Star Trek that much but my dad was. He was mostly into, like, Star Trek. But he never really got into Star Wars, though. I never really did like that incest part. I think there was an incest jewel kind of theme to Star Wars. It wasn't there with Luke and his sister. You know, wasn't she? Wasn't Leia his sister, though? I don't know. I just thought that was odd to put in the movie. <laughs> like, just saying. And I also thought it was odd Um, that Clueless movie was odd. How they made... The stepbrother being in love with his stepsister, like, like a, like a nor seemingly normal thing. Like, when it shouldn't be. Because I think that's still kind of incestuous, too. And it's, like, kind of gross, in my opinion. But, like, I'm not judging you. But I'm just saying, in my opinion, like, I think it's kind of gross. I can't imagine. Oh, well, I don't have any siblings. But if I had any siblings, I don't think I would, I would like, be in love with them or anything. I just think it's gross. <laughs> I just, I'm just one of those people that I think incest is gross. Oh, it's, so, it's just so gross. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an awesome day. Bye.